Hockey isn't the most accessible sport in the world, and it definitely isn't the cheapest. Yet somehow the people here in India, in partnership with Sun Life, Zeal, Hockey Foundation, and of course, Hockey Saucer Kit, have found a way to make hockey happen. During what I could only describe as their Arctic-like temperatures in their winter, where the people in Ladakh have very little to do, hockey keeps them focused on something that's not only developing their health, but also teaching them life skills through the sport that we all love. Although some people here speak little to no English, that's something that we really haven't noticed because hockey is the universal language. It might even be safe to say that the players here in the dock love hockey more than some players in North America and Europe that take the sport for granted. Back home when new equipment is released, some players will think of nothing but getting that new pair of skates or stick. But out here, the players here will use whatever they can get their hands on. It doesn't matter if it's a 30 year old pair of skates or a wooden stick that weighs a ton. We've even come across people that play in ponds that are using stones as pucks. We've never seen a bigger demonstration of the love for the sport in hockey until we came here to Ladakh in India. The most special thing about hockey in India is the way it has taken on a life of its own, how it's survived the complications of lack of infrastructure, lack of equipment, lack of training, and yet they love the game in, in such a pure way. So this is the second time I've been up to Ladakh. Uh, came up last year, 2015. Uh, started, you know, simply with the passion of bringing hockey to people in India. And uh, I realized how special this place was, fell in love with the people, their love for the sport, uh, and it became a no-brainer. This was a place I had to come back and try to, you know, bring help through hockey. It seems like it's a bit of an international magnet for hockey enthusiasts around the world. Uh, you know, once one of them's come here, they share it with other people. And it was simply someone else I knew that had been up here that suggested I might want to come, bring some gear, coach some kids. And uh, since coming, I've realized it really is something that attracts people from Europe, North America, South America, uh, with hockey being the common denominator. In 2015, I, I met up with the Hockey Foundation and I realized, you know, rather than uh, Two people doing the same thing, if we joined forces we could do so much more to help the people in this region, but really also helping to branch out in, uh, in the Hockey Foundation's mission which is to help people across India. The moment you come on the ice, you try to coach them and, and, and just help them improve, they're like sponges, they, they soak up every little bit and it makes you want to keep giving more. Uh, I don't think I could nail it to one thing that surprises me because this place just it keeps, on, keeps on giving. The Hockey Foundation's mission here is pretty cool, you know. It's what have they been here for five years and to have already done something like this is, is amazing. The amount of gear that we've donated and the amount of com community building that is being done is, is impressive. You know, like, it's insane. That's, all, that's really all I can say. And it's very cool to be a part of it for sure. In Ladakh, communities unfortunately have a lot of addiction issues, a very high suicide rate, high dropout rate. And when hockey comes to the community and equipment is donated, it gives the, the children and the teenagers very much a sense of uh, having to commit to something, being responsible to other members on your team, being relied upon. Um, and also it requires them, as I said, to stay in school, but they also have a responsibility to hold up their end of the bargain. If they want the privilege of playing hockey and to be able to have the equipment, they have to be able to take care of it, they have to show up, um, and they have to make a commitment. So I think those are all very positive uh, aspects that hockey has brought to this region. With Hockey Foundation, my experience is great. Uh, I have known with uh, Adam since more than four or five years now. And uh, I've been uh, a part of Team India in Kyrgyzstan. I've been a part of Team India in uh, Canada. It's all because of Hockey Foundation. And they've donated a lot of equipment to our club as well. And that's great. Yes, the donations by the Hockey Foundation do help uh, because if you don't have equipment to play, you aren't supposed to play because it, it is really dangerous because you may get hurt because you have gravel on the ice. So the equipment by the Hockey Foundation has really helped grow hockey in Shimla. Because we don't have ice and coaches all around the year. So hockey tutorial on YouTube really helps lone players how to you know, master the skills off ice and when you don't have ice and coaches. So the, the videos have really helped not only me, but all the players in Shimla. And that's one reason we mainly follow Hockey Tutorial. Hockey in the DAC is something that's constantly changing. And when I think of what I'd like to see in this place, I mean, obviously the introduction of some, some better ice surfaces because the more
more ice that these kids have to play, uh, the more hockey can be played year round. Uh, but I think the other thing is simply access. You know, when, when you're out coaching kids and you see little kids in skates that are too big or with sticks that are too long, at the end of the day, just being able to continue doing what we're doing, bringing gear from hockey enthusiasts around the world that have donated it to support the Hockey Foundation. I think if we can build the bottom of, you know, the pyramid, if you will, grassroots hockey in Ladakh and really um, make sure that every kid that wants to skate has the right gear, we're going to be making a, a life-changing difference to this community for generations. One of the reasons I keep coming back to India for ice hockey is because it's a truly special and unique opportunity. But we also do a lot of great work here and the team of coaches that we have that come back year after year as well motivate me to keep returning. We have great relationships with the people in northern India from Delhi to Ladakh, in Shimla and around the country who, who care about this game and want to get better. And we have the ability to help them get better and donate equipment, donate our time and do the best we can to, to help grow the game in India. This is hockey in India. This is ice hockey in India. This is hockey in India. This is hockey in India. This is hockey in India. For more awesome video of hockey, don't forget to subscribe to Hockey Tutorial. Here in Ladakh in India, we have very harsh winter where there are little things to do. Some people find themselves doing bad things. Hockey gives us a purpose to allow develop our skills. It also gives us so many opportunities like traveling with national team and meet the people all over the world. Hockey is for who we are.